in our previous video we saw how to create a session variable so uh, we saw that uh, the value of one variable can be retained throughout in a single session but when you start a new session um, then its value is lost so in this tutorial we will focus on multi-session variable okay let's see the demo of uh, this tutorial first Alexa open multi-session variable Hi, what is your language? Chinese. I got it. Can you tell me my language? I still remember that your language is Chinese. Okay, now our first session is over and let's start a new session. Alexa, open multi-session variable. I still remember that your language is Chinese. Cool. So this is what we are going to learn that how to save the value of a variable in multiple sessions. So for this we will be using DynamoDB and um, that's all. Okay. Let's have a look at the code. So for this tutorial I have copied this session variables folder and uh, renamed it as a multi session variables <coughs> sorry and I have done very minor changes so there's no change in speech assets at all and let's talk about its index.js file so in index.js file um, I have added one line here alexa.dynamo db table name sample language table so this is this is name of a table that we will be creating in aws so we will have a look how to create a table so if you remember my previous tutorial then uh, you know that what what exactly this is this dot attributes my language uh, so it will remain same so there is no change for these three intents the only change is on the launch request so what I'm doing is I'm checking whether this attribute is available or not if it is already available then we will go to test intent and Alexa should say I still remember that your language is and whatever is saved in your database if it is not available and it is undefined then launch intent will be fired and Alexa will ask hi what is your language then you will say something and it will save it in this so so if you are not going to use something like this if you don't have a statement this statement in your file then this will be then this will act as a single session attribute and if you have added this line then this will act as a multi session so what will happen its value will be saved in a database so we will have a look how to create a database and how, uh, where the value will be saved open this aws.amazon.com and then sign in to console search for dynamo db okay so once you are in DynamoDB, you can go to tables to see how many tables are already there or you can create a table. So click this create table, mention the name of the table and then for primary key. So this is very important. So you need to add user ID here so that for different users it will track the data separately. Then create it fine so once it is done once the table is created you can click this items um, let's wait for a couple of seconds couple of more hmm okay, let's, let's refresh it probably there's some issue with the with the portal yeah so it's already there so if you go and you click the item then you will be able to see the records for different users so for the time being there's none okay fine so we know that sample language table is our table and we have added it here also cool okay so one step is done 
as a next step we we need to provide a role to the user who is using this skill so we want to give him permissions to write to the database so for that you can open IEM so go to this manage user access and encryption keys so go to this section and then go to roles so you will be able to see what all roles are there already there and click this create new role so let's go ahead and let's create a role all db access so i want to create a user who has access all privileges to modify the database and we want it for aws lambda so let's select it and select this option amazon dynamo db full access so for the timing i'm going to give the full access to know more about the other options you can google them so for the timing i'm going to give this access full db access to this user click this next step here and then click create role fine so now we have this role all db access so let's see how to use it okay go back to your application and uh, let's go to the folder show in finder let's remove this archive that's it. and let's compress these files again fine now we need to need to create an application sorry we need to create a function so go to lambda so go to lambda create a lambda function use blank function select alexa skill skate click next and say it's a um, multi session okay say multi session whatever it is now you need to upload this file select the file my projects alexa video tutorials so and so so and so so and so uh oh so in source i have to select this code so while selecting the role so you need to select this so you need to select this all db access to give permissions to user to write into database once this is done click next click next click next and you are done how to check whether it's working for us or not so there is another way to check it so go to your dynamo db once again and uh, go to tables and select your table sample language table and go to items okay cool now i'm going to talk to alexa alexa open multi-session variable hi what is your language spanish i got it can you tell me my language i still remember that your language is spanish okay um let's now refresh this page and see uh, right. so you can see that there is one entry now if i open this entry you can see in my adder there is an attribute my language and its value is spanish okay let's ask alexa once again alexa open multi-session variable I still remember that your language is Spanish. Cool. And you can also do one thing. If I say change it to Hindi and there is a save button. Let's save it. Save it. And let's ask her again. Alexa, open multi-session variable. I still remember that your language is Hindi. So you can see that it is so easy to have multi-session variables or we can say that integrating database with your Alexa skills. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.